if you are having this issue where you run Vagrant up and it brings up the error message that the network adapter is conflicting, which is similar to this message, there is one way to solve it. Simply open up VirtualBox. So this is VirtualBox. And then if you have any virtual machines that are currently showing up here and they are running, right click on all of the virtual machines, right click on each one, one at a time, go to close, and then click on power off. This will bring up a pop-up for you to confirm that you indeed want to power it off. Then click on power off. Once it shuts down, you would see the note here that says powered off. Now click on file at the top left here then click on host network manager then it will bring up this pop-up in this pop-up you would see this network card and probably a couple more click on each one of them if it's more than one and click on remove for each one you try to remove it will bring up a pop-up for you to confirm that indeed you want to remove the network card click remove this will remove that network card now go back to your terminal and I will CD into mine for example so you go back to your terminal and then try to run Vagrant up again when you run Vagrant up it will attempt to recreate the network adapters and then issue the SSH key and then this time it should boot properly if it still does not boot repeat the same process that i have shown you and then for windows users go to your settings that's you click on start go to settings and then click on network and internet then look for the option called change adapter options click on it and then you will see a bunch of network cards there. If you find any one that is written virtual box, right click on it and then choose disable. Once you have disabled it, come to your terminal and then run the vagrant up command again. But first, make sure that you have turned off the VM from virtual box first and you have attempted to remove the network card from file host network manager remember make sure that the vm is turned off if you do not turn it off you will not be able to remove the network card and whatever you do in your windows settings as well will not take effect